All right, I know it's kind of dark, but uh, I'm gonna be doing a radiator in this uh, Chevy Equinox. So we need to get this front pump cover off. Condenser out first, so and I'm having it discharged that shot. It is this one thirty four A. That was good. <sighs> see it. Get a magnet. Get it. This is a buddy of mine's car. I just use a little razor blade to get under the edge and lift it up. Sometimes they're a little tough though, especially if they're not quite the right size for the hole. But these ones are all factory ones, so they come up pretty easy. I have had them where Fighter, so actually, these just kind of flop up like so. Anyway, I wouldn't do, you know, take this in, but uh, Buddy really needs it for get back and forth to work. So, very good. Help him out. Get in. 
the wheel wells down here. You know, it's going to be hard to see. It's dark out. This blade's pretty dull, so it's not going to cut the, cut the plastic. And like I said, they lift up pretty easy. I mean, I'm sure everybody's seen them. These kind of little retainer clip, plastic little clips. I just need to get these loosened up and a little rail. I bought these from Gear Wrench. Nice little uh, set. Metric set. They offer them in standard too, but metrics mainly what people use nowadays. two sets of them accidentally. I must have clicked two when I ordered them. And same thing over on the only side. Leave that stuff there. Real tough to, not real tough to do. You can, you do break them. You can get replacements. You can get replacement ones if you do break them. But I didn't. here. that I had to use um, the T20 for the torque screws. Usually these are pens up in here, but not on this. Oh, that I don't know if it's pens, but 
right. That's the size. Maybe 7mm. There'll be one on each side. Milwaukee light up here if you're wondering. One of my favorite tools is the Milwaukee's. Don't have anything else holding it. Pop them out the clips. Like so. And this has got fog lights. I'm just resting in the middle of the bumper on my foot. And we're going to plug these fog lights. These bumpers pull. Super easy. There we go. Bumper's off. So you can see, I got it in my hand. Saturday in the garage. And as you can tell, it's really opened up this area in here. Like it's got a push pin here, push pin there. I think probably this will come off, take the headlights out. Get them out of there. I know it's dark out. Can't really fit this thing in my garage. Love to get this thing I'm actually done tonight if I can. little tarts here. Alright, it's calling in. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more tarts. That tab right there, you got to kind of push them. They connect to the condenser. And then it just pops out once you get these two pins out. Not real hard. I'll put this over by with the bumper. You can 
be. I don't know. Let's see. Let's bring you over here real quick. So you can see one of the bolts for the condenser to the radiator. And some over here. So. I know. Yeah. Hopefully this turns out okay. Because I know it's dark. Deep well 13 for the lungs. This goes, and this set goes with a 15 millimeter, by the way, which is nice. Because sometimes all you need is a flex 15 uh, quarter inch. And of course, these are Milwaukee's. I've had these for years. all together I'll put new always put new o-rings on your lines the next thing you want to do is get it all back together and get a freaking easy week From uh, when they discharged it. That's good. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty crusty. Actually, okay. I'm gonna pull these pins off this. plastic pins like so out of this bottom shroud. Um, let me get you a year on this. This is the Equinox. This is a 2010 Equinox with the uh, 3 liter. Just a 3 liter. So it's 3.6. No fuss. It's what we like. Yeah, she's definitely been leaking. Radiator's all wet. Let's see if I can get you guys in here. Let you guys see. Hopefully that'll pick up. There's dampness down here. This is all wet. All the way along the entire bottom is all wet. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I don't know. Use my flashlight and stuff. Okay. 
This does have a pet cock on it. I need to wash me some uh, rags up. <clears throat> but what I did was, for the container, is cut a old tote and, you know, bottom hat part of the, oops, sorry, bottom part of the tote off and makes a good little catch can for coolant. This does have a That thing drains a little back in here over to the work area. That's a mess. <sighs> oh. Yeah, not bad, really. Uh, probably have one of these done in less than an hour. Uh, book on it's like 2.3. I was thinking it'd be a lot worse, but yeah, not bad at all. I mean, you've seen me take off the bumper and got to the radiator already, so, I mean, unhooking the hoses and such will probably only take 10 more minutes and then toss the new one in as long as it's the right one. I will be having a Diag on now, uh, a Malibu. That's my son's grandma's car. It says when the headlight doesn't work and when the headlights are on, the right turn signal doesn't work. But if the headlights are off, then the turn signal works. No one issues. Um, counting on it's going to be a ground issue. Um, I, I'm going to try to take you guys along with that and show you how I test it. I'm going to use probably the U-scope for the voltage drop test um, and uh, get it diagnosed and fixed for um, she needs to get it fixed before we go into Florida so um, I seen her today picking up my son for his birthday um, but yeah I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, not much to these 
pull that bumper off a few bolts that bumper cover comes off if it's got fog lights like this one does unplug each side that's just a little two pin connector the little tabs are on the side pops off easy then take out the condenser make sure you've had it evac already uh, I mean even that condenser is not the greatest looking but if you don't have a whole lot of money he's just going back to work from being laid off for the um, shutdown he works for one of the GM supply plant so uh, they shut down when GM shuts down pretty much so all right hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great night